In this video, guys, we're going to talk about how we can add pie chart inside our JavaFX application. So I'm going to guide you how you can set up your JavaFX application. And later on, we will be adding event handler to our pie chart. Say, for example, if the user clicks on a particular slice, then the application should display the percentage of that particular slice out of the totality of our pie chart. So if you're excited, guys, please make sure to watch the full video. And here we are in our NetBeans IDE. And then I'm just going to create a new project. And FXML application, the name will be Demo um, Pie Chart. So that's Demo PC. And then... Uh, PC stands for pie chart, of course, and then the name of our FXML will be main that FXML We're gonna create the um, Main class right here. We're just going to add the application package Samax code and then demo and then we're gonna uh, name our main file as main that Java file click on finish and then of course it's going to create our project with all the files that we um like we need so we have main that java file we have main that fxml and we also have the controller for that particular fxml file so now let's try to open up our uh, fxml file so right here and then we're uh, we're gonna add the pie chart into our layout so basically the default layout right now is this we have the anchor pane right here and then the bottom uh, button and of course the label so we're going to resize the anchor pane for example 600 by 400 the preferred height and preferred width okay and then I'm going to use the button and the label here so I'm not gonna uh, delete this so the button will, tri uh, will trigger the um, pie chart so every time we click on this button it should load the data of our pie chart so it's gonna say here load pie chart okay load pie chart I'm just going to reposition this and of course the label guys we will be using this as the element to display the percentage of the um, slice that has been clicked by the user so we could change the size of the text so for example uh, 14 and then the style as bold so the fx id of this particular element is already set for us so label and the button has the fx id of button of course and then for now let's, uh, we're going to add the pie chart so all we have to do is search for the pie chart keyword and then we could drag and drop it here in our layout okay and of course we could resize this accordingly so if you want to be or to have it like bigger or smaller you always have the option to resize your pie chart so let's add the FX ID for this so it's gonna be PC and then sales because what we want it is to display the monthly sales of the employees inside the company for example so this is PC sales and of course we're going to uh, save our FXML file right now and then go back to our NetBeans IDE all we have to do now is um, update the controller and of course in here guys we could add the logic that we could you know that could add the pie chart every time we click on our button so this is the uh, method that we could use every time the user clicks on the button right here so in here guys we we can set the data by using the observable um, list okay so observable list and then the type of this is data and the name is list so we're gonna use the FX collections and then observable um, array list observable array list okay and then inside here we could add the data for our pie chart so we're just going to import the pie chart that 
uh, pie chart that data right now and of course the effects collections and the observable list okay and as I've said we could add the data right here so all we have to do is specify the new pie chart and then data so it's gonna take two parameters guys the name and the value so basically this is the label name and of course the value of the slice so for example this particular employee name as John and then he has 10 as the unit sales for that particular month of uh, April or January or something so we could add more items to this for example uh, how many six yeah six we added six so we're going to rename this to James um, Kevin this is Francis this is Grace and um, so for example um, Jean okay so John has 10 James sold 20 units Kevin has 15 15 and Francis also has 15 uh, Grace has 25 and Jean has like maybe 30 units okay and then guys we could already set this list into our pie chart okay so we could use the PC sales object and then set data okay and then of course the list that we have defined here so all the employees with all their um, sales for that particular month for example so we could save this right now and then clean and build our application just you know just to uh, reflect the changes that we have made and then run and as you can see here we have the window and then every time we click on this it's gonna say hello world that's the default label that's the default behavior of this particular label and we have here the pie chart um, displayed so it has labels for the names of the employee and then of course the slice right there with all the colors and this is the legend okay and it's gonna describe the label name and of course the color so of course guys we have different options right here so for example you could position the legend left side right side uh, right side or on top and of course we could add the title for our pie chart so for example monthly sales for January or April 2020 something like that and of course we could change the uh, length of this particular line as you can see line for our label we could change that we could change the animation of the pie chart so as you can see it is you know clockwise right now nice animation for our pie chart and let's try to add the title guys the title the label changing of the legend position so let's open up our scene builder click on the pie chart uh, element and then go to properties and then we could add here the titles for example monthly sales for April 2020 okay so we could position this bottom right or left so let's uh, default it to top right now and then of course guys we could position the legends for example left side so you have the option top bottom left and right so now let's uh, position it on the left side of our pie chart and of course guys you have the option to make the legend visible you need or uh, remove the clockwise animation you could make the uh, labels also invisible or visible and you could change the line of our labels so for example let's make it 30 
So save this and then uh, go back to our NetBeans IDE, clean and build, and run our application once again. So it's going to display the um, pie chart and as you can see we now have the title and of course the legend position at the left side of our uh, pie chart and then the line for our label is a little bit longer because we, we set the value of it into 30 okay so guys now we will add the event handler for our pie chart so as you can see here we have different slices right so we want this slices to have an event handler for example we click on this slice uh, it should display the percentage of this particular slice okay so we could do that let's go back to our main controller file and then after setting the data we could add the um, for loop so we're gonna use for loop right here and then we're gonna we're gonna use the final pie chart um, data and we're going to create an object out of that as data and then this is getting the PC sales that uh, get data so basically what we're trying to do here guys is just getting all the slice from our pie chart and then uh, we could iterate that and um, add event handler to each of the slice that we have from the pie chart so we could say here data and then get node so get node guys because we could consider the the slices as nodes inside our pie chart so get node and then add event handler for that so add event handler and of course the type is mouse event and then our concern for now is mouse click okay so every time the user clicks on that particular slice so now we could add the handler here so new event event handler Okay, and then um, less than and greater than sign and then mouse event. Let me close this first so you can see better. And then open and close parentheses. And then open and close curly braces right there. And then we need to uh, import the event handler and make sure it is coming from the, the JavaFX event handler package or class. Okay, and then of course the uh, implementation of the abstract method handle. So inside here we could set the text of our label. So we need to use the label and then set text. And of course we're going to use the value or string value of a calculation right here. So string value of and then we need to calculate the percentage of the slice so we could do that by using data by the way I'm adding the open and close parenthesis right here and then get or I mean data and then get pi value so let's total first the sales so the total sales of this particular data is I think 105 so what we can do here is divide the pi value by 105 because that's a, that's the total of the sales and then of course after uh, dividing the pi value we could multiply it 100 uh, multiply it by 100 so we could get the percentage so and then we're going to add here or concatenate the percent symbol so it's going to represent the percentage of this particular pi data or pi value so save this and then we could clean and build our application and run 
and then here we could load our, our pie chart and then every time we click on this slice it should say or it should display the percentage so 28.57 okay right there it's not displaying the current or I mean the uh, it's not rounding off the value but you can see that it's 23% 19% 9.5% and so on so that's how easy guys for us to add um, pie chart inside our JavaFX application so if you have questions please let me know in the comment section below and once again guys thank you for watching and see you in the next video